Today is going to be a very, very long day. I am in Exeter right now, or specifically, I am at Marsh Barton Station. So you may be aware that I have missed the four most recent station openings, and I can't let this slide. So what I am doing is I am going to visit the four most recently opened stations in Britain in one day. So if hopefully everything goes to plan, this should take just under nine hours to complete. It's currently half seven in the morning. It's a lot earlier than I'm used to starting to film, but anyway, let's get into Marsh Barton Station and let's begin. So uh, my inbound train actually to get here um, that I was gonna get um, ended up getting canceled. So uh, yeah, before I even started filming, things went wrong. So I actually had to walk all the way here. So here we are, and I think that's the wrong platform. And I think the only way over is this bridge. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay, so here we are at platform two, the right platform. And first of all, we're gonna be getting the 0805 to Exeter St. David's, which is already just delayed, which is a wonderful sign. Oh, thank God, there we are. 0810 now. I was genuinely thinking like, oh my God, is this gonna actually all go wrong before it's even started? Anyway, Marsh Barton, one of four. Let's go to Portway Park and Ride. So next I need platform 5 to get the 0827 cross country service and we'll be going to Bristol Temple Meads. Alright, well, here we go. Let's go to Bristol. Alright, time for an hour on a Voyager. It's, I had an HST on the way down here from Birmingham to Exeter, I'm just saying. That was great. I can't believe I'm going to be all the way in Eastern Kent by the end of today. It's just so weird to think about. So we are approaching Bristol. Uh, 20 minutes late because we were um, held behind a broken down freight train. Um, so now I have three minutes to change to get to Portway Park and Ride. Can something go right, please? Right, I'm getting ready to uh, make a break for platform five. I missed it. Damn it. Well, not fully the end of the world because there is another one I can get in about 25 minutes that still gets me there in time. Not the end of the world, but... Ah, uh, damn it. Right, well, I was going to be getting a uh, service to uh, Severn Beach to Portway Park and Ride, but looks like I'm getting from Avonmouth now, so we've got to go to Platform 3. Here's Platform 3, so let's wait for the service to Avonmouth and go to Portway Park and Ride. So with our uh, revised itinerary out of Bristol Temple Meads, we're going to have 12 minutes at Portway Park and Ride before we have to leave. Instead of like 40 minutes I would have had before, but oh well, keeping us moving. And we are on the Avonmouth train. This does not apply to e-bikes. And we're off to Portway Park and Ride. Okay, we're most of the way now. I didn't realise how like, densely together the uh, stations are on the Bristol to Avonmouth route. Surprises me. I was thinking, like, what if this train gets so delayed that I miss the train out of Portway Park and Ride back towards Bristol? But then I remembered that it's a single line and this train just comes back from Avonmouth, so I literally can't miss it. I'm very clever. Portway Park and Ride! Woo! 
So new station number two of four, Portway Park and Ride. And of the four that we're visiting, this is the newest one, which opened on the 1st of August, 2023. So yeah, Portway Park and Ride, here it is. So of the uh, park and ride, this is the parking bit. Yay. So that's Portway Park and Ride out of the way and done. So now we need to head immediately back to Bristol Temple Meads and that will begin our journey to our next station, Reading Green Park. Here is the exact same train from before. What a surprise. Exact same seat. Let's go back to Bristol. Okay, here comes Bristol Temple Meads. Again. Okay, so now we need to go to platform 15. Thirteen thirty to Pennington. We'll be taking this to Reading. Okay, we're going to be here for a bit over an hour. So yeah, we'll take this train to Reading. So apparently, there's actually uh, no seat reservations on this train anymore because of some fault. Uh, so I have moved down to the next carriage, which is a lot less busy. So this journey is actually going to allow me to experience most of the Great Western Main Line, so I'm pretty happy about that. Bath is such a pretty place. It's so nice here. God, I'm going to be sick of riding Great Western Railway by the end of today. <laughs> I mean, thankfully, once we've got to Reading Green Park, we then go back, and then I go to London, and then once I arrive at Paddington, then thankfully that's no more Great Western. <laughs> I have been awake for six hours today, and I have not had a single cup of tea yet, so uh, it's this about time I check. It's about time I change that. Anyway, so uh, Didcot Parkway, just leaving, and yeah, one stop to Reading. Okay, I'm at Reading, and look, there's a purple train. <laughs> anyway, I have to resist. I need to go to platform two now to get to Reading Green Park. Right, where actually is Platform 2? I finally found it. Here's Platform 2. And we are on board. Two stops to Reading Green Park. I mean, this train doesn't actually, like, leave for another 15 minutes, but... Still, we're on it, and that's cool. Boston Railway train and station. All right, it is the home stretch to Reading Green Park. So here is Reading Green Park, new station number three of four, and of the four, I think this is the oldest one, oldest one opened on uh, the 27th of May. If I recall correctly, yeah. So, yeah, Reading Green Park. So the final station we have left to go to after this is Thanet Parkway. So uh, we've got about half an hour to wait for our return train from here to Reading and then Reading to Paddington. And then finally at Paddington, we can escape Great Western Railway. We'll go across St Pancras and then we'll get southeastern to Thanet Parkway. I do actually really like this station. All right, well, here we are at platform two, so uh, let's begin to venture to Thanet Parkway.
So my ticket from Reading to um, Paddington isn't any time single, so I could get the purple train, but yeah, I'm, I'm probably not. I'm probably just going to get Great Western. Whatever. So as of when I last checked, I need to go to platform 11, so I'm going to head there now. Okay, there appears to be an earlier but delayed Great Western Railway service also going to Paddington from the same platform, so looks like I'm getting that instead. I mean, my ticket allows for it, so I'll just do it. Alright, well, it was only a five car, so it's a little bit busy, but whatever. I'll just stand here. It's only one stop to Paddington. So to get from Paddington to St. Pancras, I think I have to do Hammer Circle Met line, and that'll get me directly between the two. I am officially inside the M25. Purple trains are everywhere. This is great. So here we are, pulling into Paddington. Okay, we've made it to Paddington, and is is that is that is that the TFL three? No way! What a what are you all doing here? This is wow! What a coincidence! Well, uh, do you guys want to join me on my way to St Pancras? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, uh, we'll head to the Hammer Circle Met then. Yeah. Let's go. Woo! Wait, never mind. Oh, it's it's Hammer and Circle. Never mind. My bad. Edgware Road, do you uh, happen to know what the fastest way around the circle line is from here? Oh, it's clockwise. Check out on it. Oh, brilliant. Well, thanks for letting me know. I'll check that out. And you should too. Great Street. Okay, so Hugh, you say you can lead the way, so lead the way. I shall lead the way around this amazing station indeed. Woohoo! Do you still have any uh, 20th anniversary Oyster cards still yeah, around? Right. Oh, brilliant, okay. All right. Thank you very much. Well, apparently they were still in stock, so uh, 20th anniversary Oyster card acquired. Okay, St Pancras, and thanks to uh, Hugh's amazing directions, we've um, made it to the main platforms. Yay. Anyway, I need to get to the uh, southeastern platforms, so uh, Hugh, I need you again. <laughs> Southeastern high speed. Oh boy. Okay, we're here at the uh, Southeastern platform, so uh, quick, plug your channel, go. Right, uh, we are the TFL3. I'm Dylan, that's Daniel, that's Hugh. You might recognize us from the next other videos. Um, we've been in many ones, but yeah, we've got our own channel now. We do challenges, races, and we generally just explore the transport network in London and beyond. Go subscribe to them, the TFL3. They're very cool. All right, see you later. So I think I need to be in the front six coaches as it splits at Ashford, so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to walk down for that. All right, first time on uh, the Javelins too. So, Thanet Parkway time. The HS1 stations are absolutely insane. I never realised just quite how long the tunnels are too. God, HS1 is, is, is really, really quite something. These 140 mile an hour speeds, these are just insane. This doesn't even feel like Britain. God. I really want HS2, please. Okay, we've just gone through Canterbury West, so the next stop we is... calling at Thanet Parkway, Ramsgate... It's Thanet Parkway. Thank you, Julie Berry. Very cool. And...
And here we are, the final station of our trip, Thanet Parkway. Oh, this trip has taken um, from Marsh Barton, where I left at 8.11, has taken eight hours and 48 minutes. This is ridiculous. Anyhow, shall we, uh, should we head outside the station? Wow, it's, uh, it's enormous. I never realized quite how uh, large the outside of the station actually is. But yeah, there you go. I missed the four most recent station openings, so I went ahead and visited them all in one day. Because why the hell not? <laughs> in just under nine hours. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a lot of effort to do. I'm very tired, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna go home now. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. And of course, a massive shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. Quite unsurprisingly, probably, this video did cost quite a lot of money to film, so really would not have been possible without you wonderful people supporting the channel. So seriously, thank you very much.